I'm Shayla and I'm gonna talk with you tonight this evening about being irritated because I am slightly irritable I'm gonna have to say this is been another snow day for us because of the ice storm across the Midwest Kansas City and just got the email that we don't have school again tomorrow so I have to say I'm not irritated about not having school because I've yet to work a full five-day week um, in 2019 but I, my kids are kind of irritating me <laughs> today so I immediately as I was sitting in the spot in my my spot here um, on my palette with my blankets I was trying to read this book I've been reading lately I get really into it and the kids are downstairs and they're having fun and I know they're having fun because they're laughing and the dogs barking and my irritation just continues to like go up and up and up because I need quiet and my body is telling me you just you need quiet you need peace you haven't really had quiet all day you've been cleaning you've been um, getting yourself ready for I've been getting ready for my noonday party that I've got coming up this weekend and the kids I've been playing with the kids and doing things with them and it just hasn't been quiet making dinner making lunch making mopping the floors through the whole house and then to sit down to dinner and there's baked potato all over the floor <laughs> I don't remember having a toddler <laughs> in the house again um Yes, so taking deep breaths, this happens, kids do this, but then when I came to sit down this, to read and be by myself and thinking, okay, they're going to play with themselves for a while, I'm going to take this break, and they're playing on my stairs that comes up to my loft room, and they're yipping, the dog's yipping, and my irritation is going and so I look up in my book in my emotions book emotions and essential oils what blends help or what oils help right because I need to start inhaling some things and putting some on because they're just being kids and we've been in the house all day cooped up and I get it but it's I'm still irritated so the whisper blend came up on the book the doTERRA whisper blend it's the blend the woman's blend um, it's just which is interesting I've been using this a lot lately it's this has been my go-to um, my kind of my base it used to be lavender but now the whisper blend has been um, on my go-to list every day um, in my lotion routine and then I always put it with something else that I'm kind of craving or now the last couple of days it's been um, bergamot because my uh, my scanner hand thing read that I needed some more bergamot so um, I've been mixing it with some bergamot but the women's blend is the oil of femininity and it's supposed to help with irritation right <laughs> it's um, not limited though to just women um, it's it's the female energy that is needed by both so it gives that female energy that's that's kind of needed and I kind of thought when I was reading about it um, that yeah I probably needed maybe more of that motherly nurturing nature that I just did not have with my kids um, it helps let go of pride it place if you place it if women place it over their liver then it helps to ease anger um, I didn't do that but I don't feel angry I just feel a little irritated right it calms tension and irritability and it helps with humility kindness and just softening things uh, what's great about the doTERRA whisper women's blend is that it has a certain scent you know when you smell it yes but when you put it on it kind of smells like baby powder to me um, but when you put it on it reacts with your own chemicals in your body and it gives off a different scent for each person um, and I a couple a few two friends of mine who have been using whisper kind of consistently and um, they notice some changes though in their their cycle of things and so um, I haven't noticed anything like that 
in my cycle of things, but maybe it does. Maybe it's something else that they're doing. I don't know. Um, but just, I just thought I'd throw it out there. You never know, right? Um, you never know how the oils will react with you. And that's why, you know, you, you just, you try. And if it doesn't work, then you change, right? Um, the other big one that the my Emotions and Essential Oils book said to use was cardamom. And I think I've done a segment on cardamom before. I can't remember. It's not a pleasant smell. But, so I didn't want to put it on because it's not... It's not real pleasant um, so I just inhaled it I just smelled it um, I could have put it on my bracelet that I've made um, but I I didn't it's this is the oil objectivity it helps regain mental sobriety and self-control it helps individuals who frequently feel frustrated or angry with other people um, I don't frequently feel angry I don't really I'm not an, an angry person um, I'm not easily irritated most of the time <laughs> aside from Lately, I guess. I don't know. Today. Um, but it does help people. It does help with those individuals who are. Because there are some people that just are easily frustrated, right? Um, it helps to bring balance, mental clarity, and objectivity during moments of extreme anger and frustration. Um, I wouldn't say I was extreme. I mean, I was kind of direct. and be like, okay, enough. Please quit making the dog bark. It's got this high-pitched yelp now. It's not this playful bark. Um, please stop. Uh, but maybe that was because I had already smelled and sniffed the cardamom, and so <laughs> maybe I would have been screaming at them. Who knows? Um, but it's good for those who are hyper-focused on their problems. I found this interesting. A couple, um, you know, you always have some people in your life that they seem to be really focused, and they get in that rut of being focused on their problems. Um, so it helps to and it assists to break down or digest those intense emotions, like getting in that rut of can't really stop thinking about your problem and trying to solve it or trying to come up with solutions or even blaming. You know, people tend to blame. Um, it redirects that energy to the solar plexus, which is the center of res responsibility. And so when it does that, that energy then helps to feed into those more positive um, feelings and they feel more at peace and calm and in control of themselves, which I found interesting. Um, and then I have a new book that I've been trying to come up with excuses to, to use aside from making my own blends, of course, but um, it's the blends for emotional well-being. It's called I Am Fabulous. And my oil friend, that I, long time oil friend that got me into all this. Um, she had this from the beginning and I can't remember my first blend, fairy tale was my first blend, I just saw it. Fairy tale was my first blend that I made, I think from here. Um, but she had made me, oh, no, I can't see it, I can't find it. Um, she had made me one that totally helped in where I was in my life at that point. Um, so I looked up cardamom in this book and went through and found all of the blends that you that you would use for emotional well-being um, with cardamom in it, and along with, of course, many other um, or a few others. Uh, blends or a few other oils, but um, the, the t names of those blends were Release Your Fears was one, Speak Your Truth, Warm Embrace, Clarity was one, Lucky, and Patience. So those were the blends that used cardamom and used quite a bit of cardamom in them um, with other oils that help with those things, but I thought that was interesting that those were the ones, and that's one of the things that cardamom helps with, right? It's giving patience, um, helping to digest some intense emotions of anger and frustration and irritability. Um, so when you're irritated, pull out cardamom. It's, it's definitely a different scent. And whisper. Maybe if you mixed them together blended them together, it would be a little bit more pleasant because Whisper is very soft and amazing. Um, I definitely rubbed this on the back of my neck, though, um, 
to help with that irritation. And I think it did help a little bit. I, I, I definitely talked calmer to my children um, when I was redirecting them and telling them, okay, enough is enough. How about you go to your room and clean <laughs> or find something quiet to do, right? Um, but even after doing that and even after they did that, I still felt irritated. I needed to get rid of those feelings, get them out about because we don't need them in right um so yeah this has been a quick one um thanks for listening and check out some of my other videos all right